Hello everybody, I'm Yasser Rahmati and in this lecture I want to talk about DC operating point and its simulation by Multisim. What is a DC operating point analysis? DC analysis determines the DC operating point of a circuit. The results of DC analysis are usually intermediate values for further analysis. For example, the results obtained from DC analysis determines the approximate linearized small signal models for any nonlinear components such as diodes and transistors to be used with AC frequency analysis. But there are some assumptions. First, AC sources are zeroed out. Second, capacitors are open. Third, inductors are shorted and fourth, digital components are treated as a large resistor to ground. For an example, I'll show you the circuit and uh, my aim is to measure VR when T approaches to infinity. As I have told you before, the inductor in, at infinity must be shorted. So, this circuit must be converted and transformed to this circuit. As we know, all uh, 10 ampere or all of this current must be passed through this branch because it has no resistance. So, uh, Vr equal to 0 at t approaches to infinity o, or Ir is equal to zero. Another example. We have this circuit. Again, this must be shorted at infinity and this circuit must be transformed to this. So all of the current that produces by these two power source must be passed through this branch and this resistor can be neglected or omitted so the current is 50 plus 50 by 2 and have this current which is equal to 50 50 amperes another example th uh, is this again this circuit must be open at infinity so at infinity this circuit must be transformed to this so all the current passes through the resistor so IR at infinity equal to 10 ampere and the voltage across the resistor is equal to 10 times T equal to 100 volt as you can see another example at infinity this must be shorted like this and this must be open like this so this circuit can be converted to this circuit which is a voltage divider uh, and VO or output voltage is equal 14 plus or uh, by 10 plus 14 multiplied by 120 which is equal to 70 volts so now I want to show DC operating point analysis by multisim let's start to do this in the previous slides I have calculated IT at infinity if you remember we have calculated this 50 plus 50 by 2 which is equal to 50 amperes so let's start to um, do and add desired component to the circuit at first I will add a DC power okay double click and change its value to 50 volt okay from the in use this pressing control R to rotate add another one connect these two terminals at a resistor virtual resistor okay double click on it to O okay connect this terminal okay from the inner resistor virtual control R to rotate it okay connect double click and change its value to 6 ohm okay 
okay add a ground I will add a ground okay again from the in use list I will choose ground like this and add an a virtual inductor press control R to rotate it add another ground from the in use leads double click on the inductor and change its value to 3 Henry okay okay let's uh, start to run the simulation from the simulate menu I'll choose DC operating point our aim is to calculate the voltage of this node so I'll add this to the variable to mo that uh, its voltage must be calculated or the analysis must be due on it and even the current passing through this branch okay so I'll add this and then I'll start this button simulate as expected the voltage of node 3 at infinity is, tr is zero, vo 0 volt because it is shorted at I it will be shorted at infinity and even the current passing through this equal to 50 amperes okay so again I noted the assumptions that we have in DC operating point first AC sources are zeroed out capacitors are open inductors are shorted and digital components are treated as a large resistor to crown thank you